Hello everyone, it is me, Mr. Sneaky, and yes, today is the precision only tree that I did promise in another video, but it's so in-depth, it has to take one on its own, so stay tuned for the full raid DPS build for all you guys looking to try and hit some top damage in raids. Hello, so yes, we are looking at a precision build for Marksman today. So if you're looking to hit that top DPS ranking, even if you're a free to play player or if you're a low power member, stay tuned because obviously we're going to be going over everything in this video. So before we get into things, guys, obviously, thanks for the massive support. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like and comment below what you think. But this is my live version of the talent build, right? So we're going to go over everything that's in game for the precision tree. And this is a build that I would recommend building on your Guanwin. Only because it means your Guanwin now can be the primary commander for your DPS role on your raids. And it frees up a whole talent page for your main commanders, right? So if you're using someone like Nico or Kanara like myself, as you can see, I'm trying a PvP build this season on Kanara for some testing purposes. And then on Nico, as you can see, I've gone down the Marksman route, which I normally go down for the PvP build, which is in another video if you should check out. So I'm now using Guan Wing as the raid talent build tree, right? And by doing this, like I say, I don't need to waste gems. I can just swap around heroes and have at will all the talent trees what I need for every scenario, right? So this is the basically raid build. And why is this the raid build? So if you're a marksman player, if you're really good at marksman and you understand mechanics and know how to move with them and obviously not take damage and not take too much aggro from the behemoths, because that is another problem archer players do get, you deal so much damage you can take aggro. So you need to know how to basically time yourself dealing so much damage and then maybe move to the right or left for a second or two and just that little delay in you know movement or if you have to dodge a mechanic for example it reduces the amount of threat you've been generating and it allows you to just go ahead and you know rain down dps right so that's a nice little bit of low down and tips for raiding for you guys while you're using this build so the way the build works it is a full precision tree build and i'm going to go over the way it works and obviously the benefits of running a full precision tree um obviously when you do do this you become basically a specialist in a build and the one thing you'll always notice that in these starting sections if you were to call it in these first areas in all of the trees the very basic keystones right these are just kind of like almost stat buffs to your um, march but when you do get into the later ones these are when you start getting some absolute crazy buffs depending on what you're looking at you know when you look in the marksman tree you get your hp plus you get the rage regen you can also get defense um taking less damage obviously choosing to deal more damage to magic units and you can tailor obviously what you need with these talents right same when you look at these this is like very very specified build but when you do mash them all together you create this <clears throat> absolute beast of a build which is so good so as you can see you do obviously start with overall attack we're not going to go over anything crazy here and when you move forward now we put five out of five points into adrenaline rush and five out of five points <clears throat> into strength and weaponry i don't know what happened then but my throat was not having any enjoyment speaking then but yes we move straight down the middle it's a very easy path when you start off you go straight down the middle getting extra attack getting extra damage and getting again extra damage and the reason why when you're in raids counter attack damage is useless you don't want to be taking any damage so you by not taking any damage you're not going to be dealing any damage of counter attack right so you're going to be avoiding this at all costs this is the same reasoning for all conquering and egoism you shouldn't be taking any sort of damage so this is why you are not taking any of these free keystones here 
You can take um, overall speed, but I will talk about this talent later when we get towards the end of the build because you're going to have some free points at your choice, right? If you're wondering as well, just below, uh, my, my foundation talents are always the same. I always go free, free, and free in this direction. I just think having... You know, 6% march speed is way more powerful than having 1.8% um, defense. It's just way more powerful for marksmen. You get speed to dealing more damage and getting out of damage ranges. So this is the reason why I've gone down the foundational route. So as we say, we're going straight down the middle. And that is your starting opening points, right? So that's, that's your first 5, 10, and 15 points into the precision tree. Nice and easy, straight down the middle, right? And now we're going to move on to your first choice. And both of these choices are actually dependent on your march and depending on how you want to play. So the thing is with Guan Win, she's excellent at both of these talents. And the reasoning is she excels at increasing your normal attack damage. And when you pair this with someone like Nico, you do even more insane burst because of the amount of normal attack damage you're stacking on top of each other. And the amount of percentage just keeps amplifying on top and on top. So you just honestly per hit you hitting everything because the one thing you need to remember with talent trees in this game currently compared to rise of kingdoms is and and it is confirmed by the support team that all your talents stack so if you have multiple talents so for example last word over here and again last word over here both of these amounts of counter attack damage stack together so you get a massive amount of stat increase if you start working basically together in harmony right so if you're running something like nico this is going to be again a really great one you can still go whirlwind to give yourself more skill damage base if you're running someone like canara or even craig because craig is an amazing free to play option especially if you've got both guan and craig expertise you'll be surprised how much damage that march lays out especially with whirlwind as your skill choice right so if you're going to be using Craig, I'd go this way. But generally, everyone else so far that I've tested with, Kanara, Nico, um, Guanwin, those three, have always gone invincible. And it just gives you more sustained DPS over time. And that's what archers want to excel at, right? So now, once you have invincible, you unlock the next tree. And you need to still be working the same way. And then once you progress the tree forward you can go back on yourself right so first we need to move five points into cool under pressure you'll deal more damage as you can see two percent which goes all the way up to ten percent more normal attack damage which is an amazing buff with invincible as you can see and this is it when your march is above fifty percent your match should always be up above 50% when you're using this build, especially in raids. You should not be taking any unnecessary damage unless it's a damage, for example, like the poison or if it's like the flame and um, stacks from the, the magma demon raid, right? Anything like that, that's acceptable. But if you're getting damaged by the bear charge, for example, or a necro giant ability, those abilities should be maneuvered and dodged, right? You shouldn't be taking that. And if you can't dodge them, that's because you're either moving too late or not paying attention to what's going on around you, right? Because it does give you enough time to basically maneuver out of the way and it's down to you as a player to recognize that so when we move forward now obviously we have five points into here increase that damage by 10 percent we now go down to the bottom tree getting intrepid and getting unstoppable this is the payoff generally of the build you get the normal attack crit rate when you increase and uh, when you cast your rage skills and this increases your normal attack crit rate damage which is in a phenomenal amount of dps increase that you get to put into your march and since you are now in a raid Everyone might consider running Mighty Slash to obviously launch a normal attack, which is cool. But Caged Animal or Mark of War, should I say, is the preferred choice. Increasing your attack by 3%, even if it's a small amount, 
3% is gonna stay. So after 30 seconds in the raid, you have a 3% maximum damage um, output, meaning your artifact, when you're about to trigger it, will obviously trigger, because it has it takes about 30 seconds to, to go. So you can time that window to get a 3% damage buff on that as well. You have 3% now damage buff for the entirety of the raid, depending if you fail it or not. So obviously, this is just such an insane talent to gain, because um, it's just a direct buff. So this direct buff outclasses the chance, the 15% chance to just try and launch a normal attack. It's not worth it. So when you have Mark of War now, you've spent in total 45 points, right? And we're at the end and you have uh, 15 points left over. So the way I run the full raid DPS precision build, and if you've been enjoying the build so far with all the commentary and obviously explanations, hit the subscribe button guys and like the video below. But you can go now into imp irrepressible. This is basically a mitigation of defense, meaning if you're doing if you mitigate their defense it's almost basically like armor penetration in other games and because you mitigate it it means your attacks ignore me so for example if it was like 10 and this had a one percent you would put it put that 10 and minus one and it'd be nine so even though it's only one in that scenario um, obviously this increases depending on how much armor you have right so if you're mitigating 40 to 60 armor on a target by just putting points in there you're going to be again dealing more damage per hit and your skills are going to be dealing more damage per hit because you're mitigating the amount of damage that you deal which is great and then for me, I put my five points into suppression, putting basically another debuff onto the target. You have a 25% chance to increase um, fragility on the target, which is increasing your normal um, attack damage um, dealt to them of what they take by it says 2%, which increases all the way up to 10% for five seconds. So this is an amazing buff when it triggers. Again, it's a 25% chance, so you'd be surprised actually how much this triggers with a basically a one in four in every hit. And now we have some options, and this is where the last bit of options do go. So again, we've used um, some points there. We've got five points here and five points here, right? So you can do a few things, like I say. So if you feel like you're taking damage and you, you're learning the raid, I would put my five points into dedication because you'd be surprised how much healing you will receive by yourself as a marksman player with a five out of five dedication march. And like I said, this is only sh only should be used if you're learning the raid still and you're maybe taking one or two hits and you need just that little bit of extra healing to keep yourself above 50%, right? So you're not um, taking as much damage. And, and that once you've learned the raid, you're gonna basically remove the talent. You're not gonna use this, right? And what I would do is put all five points into high spirits just to give yourself that little bit of rage regeneration in your march because we was missing it in the obviously tree. And then you have two points left remaining, right? And you can basically put these points either into force well if you really want to. But one way you can build them, and it's a really interesting way of building them, is putting your one point into overall speed and putting one point into initial intuition just in case you do get a debuff on you. Having a random 2% chance to remove a debuff is a great effect. But again, I wouldn't really recommend it. I do like just having the five in a high spirit and then any left over goes into force of will but that was the full precision tree i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna obviously go on to the mobile app in a moment and i'm gonna draw it out on screen so you're gonna uh, enjoy seeing a visual version on what it should look like as you progress it down as a quick rundown and obviously evaluation of the build right so if you enjoy this video Obviously, smash a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, we have a smooth transition into the next section. 
just a reminder guys hit the subscribe like and comment below what you think of the build so far but this is now the quick overview just so you can visually see the path on screen so straight down the middle hit the invincible and then do this nice weird c from the middle to the right and then these are the options as i did explain before so now we're going to start putting the points on the left side and then obviously the optional points where if you're a bit of a weaker player obviously you want to go and pick the different um healing but this is obviously just a quick overview for all those guys looking for more of a visual way the red one again like i said this is the healing side if you're worried about um taking a little bit of damage but you want to heal it up so you're still dpsing but once you get comfortable with the raid obviously remove it and now you follow the red line as follows and then if you choose to and you, and you don't want to waste your last two points in the spec as you can see below you're going to put your points into this little high spirit and then when i do draw it on screen you'll put one point into your movement and into the two percent right and why why am i talking about this build so highly right so if you check in a moment we're going to go over the actual um raid dps rankings when i've used this page as you're gonna see and you'll be surprised on how powerful it actually is so as we go and check through my saved mails you're gonna see various ones from the raids we've done so this is with the raid build currently on screen there's a rank 7 rating and this is on ss1 guys remember there's a rank 4 rating in another hydro one if we go straight down into some other raids you're gonna see some more high level ranking dps's right so if you enjoyed this type of video guys again smash the like comment and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the precision tree special raid dps build but that is me mr sneaky out and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace